I, I, I have always said, and this is just my little take on this whole thing. Coaching is so vital, so important in football that it, it becomes so, I mean, pathetic. If anybody wants to understand the importance of coaching in football, for me, coaching is everything in football. I have seen teams that were so poor and assessing managers, same players, poor and assessing managers, but a change in management as in coaching, and those same poor players begin to play as though they are possessed yeah. and are new players. Yeah. Right. Don't make a mistake of thinking that is how, that's, that's football. Coaching is very, very important. And, and when you have coaches who know what they are about, they determine the style of play of their teams, they are concise in doing that, and they communicate that very well to their players. If you're unable to do that, to do that for them, you're out of their team. They will not allow egos and names to be the, the, the mainstay in the team. It will be a, a performance and output. That is coaching. It's basic. I have always said that since I saw Chris Hutton, I was one of those who felt, yes, Hutton is a, an experienced campaigner coming on after Otto Ado, and so perhaps his CV looked good after having coached the EPO. So let's see how things will go with Chris Hutton. But after watching him manage our team for the first, second, and third games, I said to myself, this is not a man for the Black Stars. Because his coaching style and how he wants to get things done is in sharp contrast to the materials he has in his, in his team. And, and it was obvious that, again, he was not bold enough to be tough and insist on the right things being done in the Black Stars team. Tactically as well, we're not seeing anything different under him. It was, for me, more of fortune and hoping and sometimes re re relying on luck and some quality on the part of a few players to get our team to win matches. In the qualifiers for the AFCON, like I said, against Angola in Luanda, we had to concede and then rely on the quality and lack, if you like, quality of Joseph Pencil, who on a wonderful run got a cross in and found Usman Bukhari to pull him in for Ghana. In again, 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 here in Ghana, against CAR, we saw it. Consider the first goal in the first half, Mohamed Kudus pulled his magic, equalized for us in the first half with a free kick. Then we had to rely on Semenok coming on, pressing the defender, winning the ball from him, and then teeing off NSM to get a winning goal for Ghana to win 2-1 against CR. Those, those games were in Ghana, Ghana against CAR. Mozambique, same. We went out there. It was terrible to watch when we went to Mozambique under Chris Hilton. We drew 0 0. Came back to Ghana and against Mozambique in the qualifiers of the World Cup. You saw it. You saw it in Kumasi. Then we went to Comoros and we lost. So this has been the black stars like under Chris Hilton. It has been lethargic. It has been uninspiring. It has been lackluster and only rely on the brilliance and magic of some players to win matches. And when those players don't show up for us on, in those key moments, our team goes zero, ground zero. And today, there was no Mohamed Kudus to bail us out because he's out injured. So look at our team. Consider the first goal and, and look at the defending. Bat for Jiku. Bat for Jiku. Odoi was bad. Was caught watching severally. Salifu, Salisu, Muhammad, Salisu, sorry. I don't know what to say about him. I don't know what to say about Muhammad Salisu again. You cannot have this huge frame in defense and make such basic errors, passing all over the place and not getting things right with his game. That's Muhammad Salisu and committing that mistake that led to the goal. How do you allow the ball to go through your leg and cannot recover and run quickly enough? Look at the stats in the game. Ghana were outpossessed by Kivet. They even had 15 shots against Ghana's 11. They had five shots on target. Ghana only had one shot on target against Kivet. Can you imagine? They had five corners. Ghana had two corners. Can you imagine? That's, that's, we were poor in every state of, I mean, every way you want to look at it. We were poor. They had played us. Five shots on targets for Kivet, 
one shot on target for Ghana. They had 15 in total. Short I mean. So it's not a matter of luck. They deserve a win because they played better against our black stars. Chris Hutton, George Boatin, Dramani, Ole Lekensen. This is your black stars team. And how they play. They cannot and could not transition, like you heard my brother say, from defense to midfield to attack. It was lethargic. They could not possess the ball for even up to a minute, and they were losing it. They could not even press their opponents. They could not press in unison. So why have you been teaching the boys all this while in the camp? Why have you been teaching them that you didn't want anybody to come and capture? What were they learning in camp in the past two weeks? This football, Chris Hilton and his boys, this football, Jordan are you? Like I said, I mean, when the game was not going on, I said to my guys who were in here, that the first substitutions for the wingers, that was only how well Joseph Pencil is playing. He would be the first to go out. If you compare that to Jordan Ayu, you saw it. He was the first to go. It's like a script. He has a script. He's afraid of some names. Those names must stay on. They must stay on and play. Jordan will stay on if he's fit. He will stay on throughout. Whether he's poor or, or good, he will stay on. The young boys will, always the one, will struggle or will be the ones to suffer. So the young boys like Ernest Tiyama, Joe Pencil, Usman Bukhari, who are the ones who are in the good form? We'll have to sacrifice for those who have got names. But we'll be on the field. We'll be doing a catcher. We'll be slowing down the game. We'll not look for passes. We'll be selfish. But they'll be the ones who will play 90 minutes. Chris Hilton, that's your black stars. Our first game, we've lost it. We have Egypt and Mozambique. Some of us are not hopeful. I, mean, I don't have any hope in this team again. Because I don't see how we're going to recover against Egypt and Mozambique to qualify from this group. It's the same old Black Stars team we've seen for the past two, three years. Same old, same old. The fans out there will have fun. You have your fun in Cote d'Ivoire and come back home. Because it looks as though the die is cast. It's one game, yes, I know, but the die, I think, is cast. This Black Stars team cannot progress. It's as simple as that. They are poor. And they've been made worse by the coaches we have in this Black Stars team. Chris Hutton was sound rough. It's as simple as that. That's my take.